The overall goal over the long term is to develop a system for raising strawberries organically in the southeastern United States. We're completing our second year of research, so we have a good foundation. We are looking at uh, basically three things. One of them is the use of cover crops uh, to suppress weeds and provide plant nutrition. We are looking at uh, different cultivars and how they respond to organic production. We have three trials on farms and one at the research station, and they have all have fewer treatments because we got rid of some things last year that did not work too well. Periodically, we have a, a group of growers that uh, we invite to visit our research plots, and they, first of all, go out and manually rate all of the traits that we've been talking about uh, in our research plots. Then, they, then we have a focus group where the growers discuss that, and their final objective of those is for them to make recommendations to us for the next round of research. My name is Brian Lipinski, um, and I run Down to Earth Farm, which is a five-acre farm on the west side of Jacksonville. I guess the ultimate goal is to have the most marketable strawberries come out, and so the thing that most inhibits that on our farm is disease. So I would say the, the most disease-resistant cultivar, I guess, would probably be what I want. I'm John Vitter. This is my daughter, Jade Vitter, and uh, we uh, have been this location here since about 2011. I just I think the the rate of growth on of plants on plastic is pretty amazing. You know, versus the uh, the hay, um, the hay hay berries will be harvesting those through June, so they have their attribute. They have a longer season, but the uh, the, the uh, plastic um, beds definitely make the um, harvest come in at a more concentrated time period. So it's got its application. One of the things we do every year is that we have county extension faculty members, county agents who come and who become aware of our research and get that experience firsthand. I found the, the cover crop information very valuable, especially hearing about the, the specific ones that help with the sting nematode and different options for uh, if you want to build up your organic matter or if you have, have different needs. It was good to, to get the, the details for which cover crops would would be the best choice for your situation. To date, we have not found a single cultivar that performs to, superior to the others in all respects. Furthermore, sometimes it's very dependent on local micro conditions. So one will do better at one place and another will do better at another place. So I don't think we're ready to make cultivar selection at all yet. Our research is funded by the uh, Walmart Foundation through the National Strawberry Sustainability Initiative, which is hosted at the University of Arkansas. But we have a lot of collaborators in addition to the farmers. Uh, we have the uh, North Carolina A&T University, which has similar trials in place. And recently we started to collaborate as well with Florida A&M University. We work closely with Driscoll, which is a major strawberry and other berry distributor in the United States and the Florida Strawberry Producers Association. So we have a big group of people involved with this.